In South Korea, around 30 kilometers south of Seoul, there is an ancient fortress complex called the Hueseong Fortress, or Suwon Hueseong, in the city of Suwon. It represents an impressive architectural landmark that serves as a result of intrigue and ancient imperial ambitions. What makes the fortress an even interesting site is its incorporation of combined military, political, and commercial function. The fortress's massive walls, 5.74 kilometers in length, enclose an enormous area of 130 hectares. These walls comprise 48 beautiful defensive structures, most of which are intact as their original appearance. Most of these structures include floodgates, observation towers, command posts, multiple arrow launcher towers, firearm bastions, angle towers, secret gates, beacon towers, fortifications, and bunkers. The South Gate stands at the heart of the city on a busy roundabout. It is an impressive two-story wooden structure on stone bases linked to the main road running through the complex. The stone rainbow-style gate was wide enough for a king's visits, accompanied by horses and sedan chairs, and above the entrance, a second-story structure was built. One of the fortress's gate turrets is called Buxio Chokte and lies in the northwestern part. The small turret is strategically located at the front of the fortress to add protection and stop enemies from advancing towards the following Jangunmun Gate. It houses an ancient cannon belonging to the Joseon dynasty's first term that has been magnificently preserved as an antique element. The fortress served as a significant memorial complex of the Joseon dynasty, a dynastic kingdom that ruled Korea from 1392 to 1897. On the eastern side, a crescent wall extends out, which is different from the Paldunmun Gate's design. Just next to it is the Dongbuk Gongsimdun Watchtower. It is a 6.8 meter tall, three-story oval observation tower. Troops used this particular tower to survey the nearby area for enemy movement and any signs of attack. It is also called Soragat turban shell shape because stones were piled up in a round form, enabling people to go up. One of the most imposing structures of the fortress is the Dongbuk Gangnu Tower, located near the floodgate. The structure initially served as the second provisional battle command in case enemies took the fortress's main command post. But because of its beautiful location, on this stunning pond providing beautiful views, the place was used for feasts rather than battles. <laughs> 